as I'm filming this video, we're getting ready to have our monthly budget meeting. It happens every month on the last day of the month. It's like clockwork or a calendar. It's the time when Mauricio and I basically sit down, go over the budget from the last month, see our wins or fails, see what's coming up in the next month and how we can improve on the previous month. Let me walk you through how I get ready as the nerd to prepare for our budget meeting. Hey y'all, I'm Wendy Valencia and if you are new to my channel, on this channel we talk about doing difficult things with a positive attitude. And when I say difficult things, I mean difficult, like getting out of debt or getting to your ideal weight or just getting healthy or maybe having a great marriage. Well, our budget meetings aren't normally humorous, they can be. They're not usually, but they can be. I'm the nerd. I like to budget. Mauricio does not like to budget at all. Not even a little bit. So I, as the nerd, do all the budget prep work and maintenance. Mauricio basically attends the meetings and tells me what he has coming up in the upcoming month and signs off on what I've already done. So I always sit down with the budget like an hour or two before the meeting starts and I go through these steps so we can go quickly through the budget meeting because if it's long and drawn out, Mauricio is not going to enjoy it. So the very first step I do to prep for our budget meeting is I log on to every dollar and I make sure that all the reconciling is actually taken care of. Everything that comes through is balanced against the previous month. And if it hasn't come through yet, it becomes part of next month's budget. So if I budgeted $500 for gas and we only spend $356, I change the planned amount to $356. And then the amount left to budget at the top changes to whatever we have left over. And once I've done that, we move on to step two. We apply the total left to budget to debt. And that goes to the debt that we are focusing our snowball on at any given time. And I don't forget to add that amount up at the top into the debt that I'm going to pay off, pay it towards in every dollar because I want that number at the top to be zero. This is just like a little bonus. Usually going into the month, we know if we have a thousand or two thousand dollars to put towards that extra, we've already done that in the month because we we know going in how much we need to spend and how much we have left over. This is just for like little tweaks and it usually comes out to be about a hundred bucks. So then step three, I log on to undead it. And in undead it, I update all the payments we've made in the previous month. This gives me an exact amount of how much we owe as of that date, all in one place. So I don't have to go in and add everything up every single month. I just go in there and I know exactly how much we owe. And at the rate we're going, how long we will continue to be paying on any particular debt. It thereby makes my life way less complicated. So then step four, I log the amount that we paid off in that month into a debt payoff spreadsheet. I open our total debt payoff spreadsheet and write down the total that we put toward debt and I just look at the total. It just is, it makes me feel good. It doesn't really accomplish anything, but it does allow me to see in one chart how much we paid off every month. And I get that number from every dollar in the debt category. It actually works out really well. It's just right there, it tells me. And this year, because we have a goal of a percentage of income towards debt, the percentage is actually right there in every dollar. So I've added a new uh, column to this chart and it'll tell me what percentage of our income is going towards debt. And hopefully, hopefully every month that will be over 50%. You know, if I do that, then I'm not forcing myself to break out the mad math skills. And then step five, I compare the upcoming budget to our electronic calendar. I take one last glance at the budget to make sure I haven't missed anything for the month that's coming up and basically just make sure that everything has been included in the budget. We use Cozy uh, Family Calendar, which I'll link down below. I love it because it allows Mauricio and I to both access the calendar at the same time. He can put something in, I can see it immediately. It actually works really well with um, shopping lists, grocery lists, especially if like Mauricio is going to one place and I'm going to another. Um, because it's interactive so I can put okay we need all of these things and he goes and checks it off as it happens 
Um, it's a fantastic app and has worked really well for Mauricio and I when Mauricio uses it. And the best part about using a digital calendar is I can reprogram everything to like reoccur. So if we have a budget item that comes up weekly, I set it to reoccur on any particular day of the week. Or if it comes up monthly, I set it to reoccur every month until, you know, a particular start or finish date. You know, it just, it helps me not forget stuff. Amazon Prime yearly fees come once and they come on December 28th for us every year because that's the year when we first signed up we signed up on December 28th and so I have it programmed into the calendar to remind me that it comes up so when I'm making the budget for December let's say I look on the calendar and I say oh I've got you know the $90 charge or now $99 charge for Amazon Prime coming up in December so it never surprises me anymore and finally step six the step that I alluded to earlier I create the budget for the month after the month we're meeting about so basically the full month away and I do this by clicking create new budget and every dollar and it creates an exact replica of the previous month's budget and then I do a quick precursory um, deleting the things that don't apply you know like birthdays or once a year sort of things like the amazon charge then i look real quick over the calendar and put in the new stuff that way i have a good idea of how much mauricio more or less needs to earn for any given month like i said what he earns in january actually goes to pay our february bills so we already have his total income from january when february 1st starts so we just boom drop it in the checking account at one time and then once that's done i get a glass of wine <laughs> i'm kidding once that's done it's usually time for dinner and then after dinner we have our budget meeting because never ever ever gonna have a budget meeting unless i have a full stomach or especially mauricio so if you're a nerd like me how do you prep for your budget or if you're a free spirit, do you let your nerd do everything or do you actually help with the budget? I Mauricio doesn't really help with the budget because it's just not something he's into. And I'm kind of a control freak and I like to take the reins and do it myself and do it my way because there's a system. If you like this video, make sure you click that subscribe button down below and I will see you in the next one. See ya!